It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to the LBS Advent Calendar, day number 12. And on day 12, we have... High West Rendezvous Rye. High West Rendezvous Rye. Yep. So this is 92 proof. Um, it's a blend of two ryes, a six year and a 16 year. Both are high rye ryes. The uh, six rye. year is 95% uh, and the uh, 16 year is 80%, which that is high. Um, so yeah, and it runs about $55. And I would imagine that the uh, six year is the lion's share of the blend, and that's the 95 year? 95 percent or 95 year that's the 95 year it's just One it's drop. just char it's just it's char just, <laughs> you just eat yeah you just chew on it uh <laughs> is the 95 percent so it's probably gonna be, probably pretty, gonna be spicy pretty, pretty spicy that's pretty spicy. what that tells me but i like the fact that it's at least a six year in there and then that 16 year they're kind of coloring the mix mm -hmm. That's cool. That's exciting. That is exciting. I like it. I like it. All right. Oh. I was expecting to be knocked over. Me actually. too. Oh, I like it. I know I just said this yesterday about the uh, Old Forester 1910, but it smells like wine and brown sugar and toasted marshmallows. Well, you didn't say toasted marshmallows yesterday. No, the toasted marshmallows is the new thing, but That's it sounds new. like. That's new for today. It smells like brown sugar and wine, but also toasted marshmallows. Like slightly burnt marshmallows, which, if you're me, those are the best kind of marshmallows. <laughs> Catch it on fire just a little bit and then. Shake it. Yeah, shake it like a burnt marshmallow. Salt shaker? No. <laughs> I'm actually surprised at <clears throat> how much I'm not getting that much of a nose off of it. Oh, for, really? For being a, yeah, like I'm... The toasted marshmallow for me is like, the that gooeyness of the marshmallow is really standing out to me. I'm just but, getting your kind of standard nose on a high rye rye, which is you know, spice cabinet. I do get that spice as well. And some some kind of some perfume. But I like it. Let's see how it tastes. Let's do it. I get the toasted marshmallow right now and finish. The beginning is a little bit of a bumpy ride for me. But the finish is pretty enjoyable. The finish is nice. Yeah, I like it. I'm not gonna judge it anymore until I have a second sip. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like my tongue just needs to get acclimated to that hot rye. I wanna see how long this finish goes. It's going into more of a fruity area as hmm. it kind of settles there on the tongue, which is pretty neat. All right, so it's not a super long finish. No, medium, it's over now. Medium. Yeah, I call it a medium finish. But I was liking how it was kind of going to those uh, uh, sweet fruits, mm -hmm. almost like a syrup, fruit syrup type of mm -hmm. type of uh, thing. Yeah, I mean, I expect the medium finish for a 92 proof. You know, I don't expect yeah. it to be extra long. Yeah, yeah. Rye or not, it's still just 92 proof easier on the front i get this bittery note in the middle actually like it reminds me of bitters um mm. like an orange or a cherry or something like that mm, uh, in yeah. the middle yeah but then the finish like i said comes back to that toasted marshmallow that sweet those sweet sugars and i like the finish i like the initial taste but there is that moment i feel like i've been having these moments with things in the middle like I know that sounds like such a weird thing, but it's sort of in the middle of the tasting experience. I don't know how else to describe that. Enjoyable. Definitely a different ballpark than bourbon, of course. This is mm -hmm. rye. We're talking high rye. Some ryes out there taste a lot just like, you know, bourbons pretty much. Well, when it's just 51% rye, it's yeah. like, it's, <laughs> it's just a little bit past barely a rye. I mean, this technically is it's not bourbon, but. Definitely, definitely a rye. No question about it. Um, which we have garnered appreciation for as we've done the rye flight fights and, and so forth mm -hmm. and become more acclimated to the, the different varieties of, of rye's out there. Now, would you, $80, what you said? No, 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 um, more like 55. Oh, for some reason I think you said 80. No, no. Okay. I mean, who knows what it could be at some places around you, but. Sure, 55. Should be about $55. Well, that's a lot better. We had the uh, James E. Pepper 1776, the bottled and bond, and for me, even though that's 100 versus 90 proof, that was so much hotter than this, yet they're both 90 plus, well, 95 being the six year uh, rye on this one, they're both have 90 plus rye mash bills. Yes. So, well, I think this with the, for me is a lot easier. Yeah, the James E. Pepper was, was really showing its, its youth. Its age. Yeah, showing its age. Your age is showing. Your age is showing. I like it, I appreciate it, it's good. No, yeah, I would, I would, Give this, give this a recommend for for y'all to taste if you haven't had it before, if you so have the opportunity, uh, and you're you like 
the high rye ryes. Mm -hmm. I would uh, give this high rye rye a try. Hi, Rai Rai, I'll try. Yes, I'll leave go. it with that, because okay. that was funny. <laughs> there we go. Well, that'll do us. What are we looking at tomorrow, Sarah? Tomorrow we have David Nicholson Reserve, which is yeah. something that we know and love. Yes. So it's going to be, I haven't had it in a while, though. Yeah, me either. We've just been trying so much stuff, mm -hmm. so I'm Looking excited to cool. meet up with an old friend. Ah, uh, for drinks. <laughs> and we're going to drink you. I'm having an old friend for drinks. <laughs> uh. Okay. You see what you did there. Okay. <laughs> well, that'll do it for us. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, might we entice you to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. If you like what we're doing here, you can give us a thumbs up. You can leave us a comment or question down below. We also have a new home for Bourbon Night merchandise. It's whiskeyambitions.com. Uh, there's Bourbon Night merch, like I said, but there's also just whiskey, a bourbon, apparel, glassware, a lot more coming soon. Mm -hmm. Just kind of that's just getting kicked off. But again, that's whiskeyambitions.com. You can visit our Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and become one of our drinking buddies. Uh, as little as $1 a month, you can just be a part of our community and join the conversation. Uh, you can also find great gift ideas on our Amazon influencer page. Mm -hmm. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night or maybe just pick up something for yourself and your own bourbon night. You know you want to. Whatever you want to do is fine with us. Yeah. And then lastly, you can follow us on all of our social media channels at it's bourbon night. There you go. I like it. All right, well, um, until then, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And remember to drink more bourbon. Or rye. Or rye, like in this case, it's rye. He's right there. Oh, so many pieces. Ooh, this is my favorite one we've done so far. It's the Millennium Falcon. Hyperspace.